Hi everyone, welcome to a new devlog. In this episode, I will continue working on the combat and test the narrative plugin for the quest and dialogue system. So let's get started! This week I have been refining the combat system. I have added the possibility of random attacks for the enemy, which gives more variety and makes the combat seem more complex than it is. For that, each type of enemy has an array of animontages for the attacks. And in the attack event, I choose one at random, as you can see here in the blueprint. I use this system for other animations, like the hit animations, and even later for the weapon trail and heart sounds. On the other hand, I have implemented the stun mechanic. Both the player and the enemy now can be stunned. For this, I have added the new stat poise, which is the resistance to block attacks. Every time an attack is blocked, the damage that would be received is reduced from the poise, and if this is completely consumed, the character enters the stun animation. That leaves him vulnerable to more attacks for some seconds. The poise will be auto-regenerated depending on the enemy type and the player level. I have also started to add visual effects like weapon trails, both for the player and the enemy. In the case of the enemies, it's a bit more subtle because part of the game design is to give more prominence to the player. The idea is to add effects to impacts, trails of blood for when the opponent is hurt and so on. At the same time, I have also started to add sound effects. For the moment, only for weapon trails and when the player hits the opponent. For these, I use animation notifiers. You can use the play sound animation notifier if you want to play the same sound each time, but since I want to add more variety and randomness, I'm using a custom notifier. So similar to the attack animations, I have an array of different sounds, both for weapon trails and hard sounds, and I play one at random. One of the peculiarities of custom notifiers is that I can pass parameters, so with the same notifier I can play sounds for different situations. As you can see here, I have an enum with different types of sounds. This notifier communicates with the character's blueprint through an interface, which calls the event where I have all the sounds organized by typology. This not only gives more variety but also more realism because it's not as repetitive as using the same sounds over and over again. The sounds at the moment are placeholders, they are not the final sounds. Adding sounds and effects is what they call the juice in game design, and this juice not only helps give feedback to the player, but also makes the interactions, in this case combat, much more satisfying. I'll leave a very interesting GDC talk about this topic in the description below. If you want to elevate your game and the game feel, don't forget to check it out. Finally, I have started to play around with the narrative plugin. My game has a strong and dialogue component so I thought it would be interesting to try it out. The developer has an almost two hour video tutorial describing in depth the ins and outs of the plugin. So far I just followed the tutorial and did a couple of tests. Here you can see how when I talk to these two characters, they give me a quest to find a bow. When I find it and talk to them again, the dialogue changes and the quest is marked as completed. I was surprised by the simplicity and clarity of its use. Besides combining quests with dialogues, it allows you to create all kinds of quests. The potential to create from dialogues with multiple branches to complex quests with different tasks allows you to create any game you have in mind. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to take a look. And that was all this week's progress. In the next days, I will continue refining and adding juice to the combat, as well as diving deeper into the quest and dialogue system. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you next week.